Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I want to do kind of a health update. I've had some issues going on lately, I want to talk about it. So this started probably about three weeks ago or so. I got out of bed in the morning and I felt dizzy. Now it wasn't a consistent dizziness, it was more or less like little spurts of dizziness that kind of came and went, but it was happening frequently. All right, so I woke up um, within five or 10 minutes. I had these like three to four second little bursts of like, almost like a vertigo type feeling where I was just like kind of out of it and my vision was kind of blurred. It was almost like it was vibrating. Okay, so if you try to focus on something and then you just you know shake your head rapidly back and forth, it was similar to that. But the best way I can really describe it is somewhere in between blurred vision and dizziness. Um, it wasn't bad enough where I was gonna like fall over or anything. And luckily it never really lasted more than a few seconds, um, but it would come and go constantly. So the first day I thought, you know, it was not a big deal. It was just something hopefully passes. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but the following day, the same thing happened. And uh, it really scared the hell out of me. Uh, I almost wanted to go to the ER. Now, unfortunately with uh, the pandemic going on, the last place I want to be is at a hospital. So, I mean, I was, I was really close to going cause it was just, it was that scary. Cause I really did not know what was going on. I was actually in the car. I was all prepared for it. And then like, you know, the roads at the time happened to be really, really bad. We just got hit with a storm. It was still happening. So the thought of driving to a hospital and there's no hospitals that are close by me that the closest one's like 45 minutes. Um, it just wasn't possible. The roads weren't good enough. I, we literally got out of the car and, uh, and came back inside and I just kind of tried to, you know, deal with it. So at that point I knew, well, I have to go to a doctor. I have to see what's going on here. So, uh, if you don't know from older videos, uh, I was diabetic for, for many, many years and it was just because of my weight. Uh, back then I took metformin, um, you know, to stabilize my, uh, blood sugar levels. You know, metformin is a, a form of insulin and basically my body wasn't producing enough insulin because it was so large. So I had to take in extra insulin to counterbalance everything that was going on. Now back a couple of years when I, uh, I lost a bunch of weight, lost over 150 pounds. Uh, I lost diabetes. I was literally small enough where my body was able to produce enough insulin. And I got off the medicine and uh, eventually I slowly started to gain the weight back. But even though I got back to my original weight, which was more like 360, 370, uh, which is quite heavy, um, I did not have diabetes. I went to the doctor even at the higher weight and my blood sugar levels were fine. So, which is really surprising. I guess maybe my, my body adapted to it a little bit differently as I gained the weight back. I don't really know. But even though I was heavy, you know, as you guys have seen over the years, the last few years now, I've continuously tried to lose weight like a lot of people. And uh, I've had lots of success. I've probably lost six, 700 pounds. Um, and what I mean by that, like everyone, is you lose 10, 15 pounds and you put it back on. You lose 15, 20 pounds, you put it back on. And it's just this vicious cycle. So anyway, going back to the dizziness, I thought, all right, I have to go to a regular doctor. Um, I have to go to the eye doctor, because obviously this is a vision issue. Maybe it's with my eyes, right? Um, and at this point, I was concerned that maybe the diabetes came back, right? So I started testing my blood sugar levels, and my levels were definitely high, but they were not like, you know, full-on diabetic high, okay? I wake up in the morning, and my blood sugar levels would be anywhere from maybe 150 to 215, you know, uh, which again is more like pre-diabetes, uh, but it's definitely not right. It's definitely elevated, you know, past what it really should be in the morning. You should wake up in the morning after fasting and you should be around like, you know, 80 to 100-ish, somewhere around there. So, you know, because I used to have diabetes, I saved a lot of my stuff, my blood test kits and, and all that stuff. So I started using those to kind of, you know, see what was going on with my blood sugar levels. And after consistently taking my blood sugar levels, um, I noticed that my, my numbers were elevated. So my initial fear was, okay, diabetes came back and now I'm getting dizzy from it, you know, cause I'm not on medicine. So at this point <laughs> we're having storms like left and right. And I'm trying to get to a doctor's office and things are closed down and the roads are really bad. And it's just, it's this back and forth thing. And so it's been really difficult to actually see a doctor. Um, eventually I was able to go and see uh, a regular, um, doctor and really nice guy. Uh, he basically, I mean, at this point I was saving, you know, a log of everything I was eating and drinking, uh, everything, um, all my blood sugar levels, I was testing it constantly. So gave him kind of a good idea of what was going on there. 
also explain what was going on with the uh, the dizziness and stuff and he took blood work which I have yet to get back and that's a whole well I'll tell you a short version of it I was sent to a certain lab to get blood work done and then another storm came and when the snow hit there's just no way we could get could have gotten there it was more than an hour away um, and then uh, they rescheduled and then when I was going for the actual day that morning they canceled it because they needed to do maintenance and from what I understand that just means someone you know who visited the lab had uh, COVID so that's what they you know it's a general thing instead of saying hey yeah, someone was here and affected the whole building they just say they're down for maintenance it seems to be a very common thing that businesses will say when they basically have to shut down for a day or two and just clean everything so then I ended up going to a different lab um, to get the blood work drawn, which is supposed to go, uh, you know, to that first lab. Anyway, long story short, I don't have the results back, the blood test results. Uh, I don't have it back yet. Now, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for this, I figured, all right, well, let me go also go to an eye doctor. I went to the eye doctor, explained the situation with my glasses, told him what was going on with the dizziness and everything. And the first thing that he saw, because uh, he took, you know, pictures, all kinds of machinery, really amazing stuff, to be honest. Took pictures all in the back of my eyes, all that kind of thing. And, and the first thing he noticed was that I had high blood pressure. And he asked me, he said, you know, when I went to the doctor, they tell you I have high blood pressure. And the doctor did. And I don't remember my number exactly. I think when I was at the doctor's office, uh, it was like 140 something over maybe 96 which is elevated, but the doctor wasn't all that concerned with it, right? So the eye doctor's like, well, you gotta revisit your doctor. You have high blood pressure, you should definitely be taking high blood pressure medicine. Okay, fine. So, um, and then the eye doctor also said that the glasses that I brought in, because I brought in this pair of my old glasses, which I never actually wore for an extended period of time, uh, was nowhere near the proper prescription. Now, you know, it's like six to one, half dozen the other. One eye doctor said, this is my prescription. Now, keep in mind, this is more than a year ago. Your eyes do definitely change. It's always possible my prescription changed. It's just the new eye doctor is basically telling me that the old eye doctor wasn't even close. Now, I never really wore these glasses. I did a video on it saying, hey, I got glasses now and everything. And that lasted like a month. I just could not wear them. I could not, my eyes would not adjust to it. Everything seemed like I was in some kind of fun house. It was horrible. I couldn't drive with them on. I couldn't, you know, look at the computer or my cell phone or anything. So it was pretty bad. So I never actually wore them. Um, and then going to this new eye doctor, he was basically telling me, you know, you're, because I have astigmatism in my left eye, um, which is from, if you've watched older videos, uh, an injury I had. I cut my, uh, my eye when I was cleaning a Glock 17 magazine. I took the base plate off and it slid just a little bit too far and the spring literally came out and the follower that was on the bottom of the spring hit me right in the cornea. And uh, it cut it open and it, you know, it was horrible, horrible, horrible pain for weeks. I had to wear an eye patch like a, like a pirate. <laughs> I don't know if I, I might have videos with me wearing the eye patch from way back in the day. Uh, but you know, it healed, but the scar tissue has created a stigma or stigmatism, excuse me, a stigma. Um, so basically my right eye is pretty decent, but my left eye has that stigmatism. So because of my specific, I guess, prescription, um, he said, you're very hard to convince to wear glasses because it doesn't seem like you need them. If I shut my right eye without glasses on, my left eye, I can see okay. It's a little bit blurry uh, from like 20 feet on, but it's not like super, super noticeable, right? If I close my left eye and just look out of my right eye, uh, I can see fairly well. So my right eye has been compensating for the left eye all this time. And, and like I said, without glasses, I can see fairly well. I mean, maybe I can't read a sign that's super crisp at like, you know, 50 or 60 yards, but that hasn't really affected my life much. But he was saying, you know, that it's going to cause all kinds of fatigue and stuff. Now, as an aside, I've had random headaches on and off. I've had eye twitching that's happened on and off. And all those are obviously signs of, you know, fatigue in my right eye, which is trying to compensate for the left eye. So long story short, I need glasses. Uh, I'm wearing them. I got new lenses for the old frames because uh, I'm cheap and I didn't want to buy new glasses. However, uh, I'm going to talk about <laughs> blue light uh, filtration in a second here because you may or may not notice there's a lot of purple going on in the reflection of the lenses, right? So at this point, I saw the regular doctor. I'm waiting for blood to come back. Saw the eye doctor. Um, got new lenses, right? Now, while I'm waiting for the new lenses to come in, 
uh, I talked to my regular doctor again, and that's when we revisited and talked about the blood pressure, right? So he agreed the blood pressure was uh, consistently high or elevated, so uh, he put me on blood pressure medicine. So I'm taking blood pressure medicine as of right now. Uh, he's holding off on any kind of metformin or anything until future notice. I've dramatically changed my diet for the last three weeks, um, losing weight consistently. It's not really an option. I, I've said this before, but uh, when you get to a point in your life where you're having negative health, um, you know, complications, you're having problems, that's when you're really like kicked in the butt. Like you can't wait anymore. You know what I'm saying? So this is a very serious thing to me that those little bouts of, uh, um, you know, the dizziness was enough to just say, okay, there's no other excuses. It's got to happen now. So uh, it is happening now. I'm very much uh, on a very healthy diet and, uh, and losing weight consistently. I would say about three months ago or so, I was at uh, 365. Um, this morning, I weighed 335. Okay, so dropping some LBs. Um, my first goal really is to get under 300. It's been a while since I've been under 300. Um, so that'll feel good and then obviously continue from there. So I am looking to, you know, lose a lot of weight and keep it off this time. Um, but I'm still waiting again for the, the uh, um, uh, blood test results to come back just to make sure everything else is uh, looking good. Uh, also, as far as the high blood pressure, that has everything to do with me just being bigger, being overweight, being morbidly obese, which sounds horrible. I think if you're over 100 pounds overweight, you're morbidly obese. It's basically saying you're dying, okay, do something about it. Uh, that should go away. You know, the higher uh, blood sugar levels should go away and the uh, my higher blood pressure should go away. It all has to do with being overweight. So, you know, as you get older, your body changes and it just can't cope the same as it used to. You know, as a teenager, I was big and fat. I was fat my whole life, you know. Um, but back then I could I could run and I could jump and I could be active and stuff. As you get older, and I'm only in my you know, mid-30s now, but it's old enough to start showing, you know. So it's all about getting healthy and uh, and striving for that. I mean, like I said, the diet has been uh, just on point. I've been doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I'm seeing results from it. Uh, exercise is still very light. It's winter time. It's kind of hard to, to exercise and it might be an excuse, but you can get bundled up and do a jog around the block or a walk or whatever you have to do. And I try to do something every day, uh, but obviously as the weather warms up, I can really increase the exercise, go back to the gym, you know, as soon as all the gyms open up in my area and and really just get on the board with that because it's very important to be active. You know, eating well, that's great, but that's only half the equation, okay? So, at this point, I got glasses. Now I got glasses forever, basically. Um, I, I never wanted to make the transition. Even when I got the first set of glasses, it wasn't working out. I just don't like the idea. It's just, it's inconvenient to say the least. If you're watching the video and you've had glasses for a number of years, you know all about it. It's just inconvenient, but it is the way it is. Um, you know, as an aside, I read an article, actually Christina turned me on to, and it's this really interesting uh, article about how so many people are diagnosed with eye problems now because of uh, technology. You know, we're staring at, at screens all day long. We're staring at our cell phone. We go from our cell phone to our iPad to our TV, maybe five feet away. And uh, human beings weren't meant to use our vision like that. So uh, a lot of people have stigmatisms that aren't even, you know, diagnosed. They don't even realize that they have poor vision. So that's why you see like so many people have glasses compared to, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago. That's really what it is, is we weren't meant to be staring so close at things for so often, you know. And now, if you're 10, 15 years old, you have a whole lifetime of that. You grew up with the internet and cell phones and just like this, just on your phone, on your screens. And it goes from here to 10 feet across the room at your giant screen. So it's screen, screen, screens, 24-7. Um... So this article went on to say, like, you know, way back in the day when everyone's just basically farmers and, and hunters and stuff, you had the majority of your vision was very distant. So those people had a hard time seeing up close, whereas now we have a hard time seeing in distance. So pretty interesting stuff. But anyway, back to the purple tint on the glasses. Um, when I went to go get lenses, Christina did, I mean, she's, she's amazing. She does all this research on everything that she finds interesting. And as soon as the topic of glasses come up, and she wears glasses, uh, she started looking all into stuff, right? And one of the biggest things she wanted to learn about was the, uh, the blue light um, filters and stuff and then the, um, uh, the coatings, blue light coatings that they do. So, I mean, a lot of the stuff that she was reading, it, it's very conflicting. 
okay? Because some of the testing that they've done, some of the research they've done in laboratories, they're doing this research, you know, shooting a blue laser light into mice's eyes, you know? And does that really have the same effect as us looking at a computer or a cell phone? Probably not. But what they found is that when they jam laser beams into to mice and, and rats' eyeballs all day long, that, yeah, it starts uh, your degeneration of your sight. Um, so what you see is that when you go get glasses and stuff now is that everything's all about blue light filters and um, You should have these coatings to protect your eyes. I think and don't quote me on this stuff But I think it, if you have a blue light um, uh, Filter or, or coating on your glasses It stops like up to 20% of that passing through into your eyes and I believe the Sun puts off a tremendous amount of blue light. So it's not like, even if you weren't looking at your screen, if you're just outside on a sunny day, you're probably absorbing just as much, if not more. But it's a, it's a huge thing. And keep in mind, when you go to an eye doctor and they say, oh yeah, you gotta get blue light, you gotta get, it's because they sell it. They make a lot of money by charging you extra for these coatings. So is it really helpful to have a blue light, you know, filter on your glasses? Maybe. Does it make a difference? Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. I ended up getting on this glasses because I thought, well, it's not going to hurt anything. You know, maybe if it does cause a little bit of damage in your eyes, then I'll be protected. Um, but as it turns out, it creates a very, very noticeable glare on the outside of the glasses. And where I sit, you know, for part of my day, I have, I have kind of weird windows in my house. And um, I have like, you know, kind of long skinny windows that don't open up. And certain spots in my home, since I've had the, I've only had the glasses for two days now with the new lenses and, and the um, you know coatings and stuff, but I can notice in my vision little purple, bluish spots here and there, depending on how the light is coming in from outside. So it's quite annoying. Now, as far as the outside, uh, I only knew this after the fact, after we got the glasses and Christina's looking at me, she's like, wow, I can really see that and stuff. So she started looking it up. And a lot of people complain about it because when they get on the glasses, if you're taking photos all the time and selfies, not that I care about that kind of stuff, but people complain because you do see a lot of that, that purplish bluish hue, right? So although it's not a big deal and these glasses fit me fine and everything, I'm probably going to get some more glasses. I'm going to look into a couple different companies. Um, through the eye doctor, using my own frames, it was like $190 to get these lenses put in. And that's, it's very, very expensive. It shouldn't be like that. I mean, I, I actually bought previously, um, like, I forget, it's Humana maybe. It's an eye coverage. It's not like a full-on, you know, vision plan, you know, medical plan. But it definitely gives you a discount on a lot of things. And even then, they were charging a lot for some of these coatings and the, the actual lenses themselves. So that's quite expensive. But after doing a little more research, after the fact, I should have done it beforehand, um, there's a ton of eyeglass companies now that are pretty cheap, pretty affordable. So even though these work fine, uh, I'll probably get other types of glasses, maybe some different looks, see if there's something else I like more. I also kind of want to get prescription sunglasses. So I'll probably end up with a couple more pairs and in the future do a video on those uh, to give kind of feedback because I, I get so many, um, especially after looking this stuff up online, I'm getting a ton of ads on Instagram for all kinds of companies. Um, so we'll see, you know, I might, I might get a couple more pairs. Cause like I said, it, it bothers me just enough to want to try something else. Uh, but obviously I always have these. I just spent, you know, almost 200 bucks on, on the lenses. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I just want to give you guys kind of an update. Um, as far as the weight loss, I mean, if there was ever a reason, now is the reason, uh, there's no more excuses and it, it really is, you know, a huge fire that was lit under my butt. Um, because, I'm actually seeing negative effects from my weight. You know, the high blood pressure alone, that should be enough to scare you. And it is, it's very, very scary. Once you get really high blood pressure, you're very prone to heart attacks and aneurysms and all kinds of things can happen. So uh, yeah, I just, you know, I wanna be healthy. And uh, the older you get, the more you think about stuff like that. It's just, it happens, it's natural. You know, uh, it's kind of like going to the dentist, you know, or, or anything else. You're supposed to get your eyes checked every year. Most people don't, it's even the doctor. Some people just never go to the doctor and all of a sudden, okay, my arm hurts really bad. Let me go to the doctor. You should really do preventive maintenance for your body. It's the most important thing we have, right? But going back to like the dentist, you know, most times people just don't go to the dentist. You know, some people regularly go, they go for cleanings every year and a checkup and stuff. But generally speaking, a lot of people just, they wait until something hurts. Oh man, my tooth hurts. I guess I got to go to the dentist. Well, maybe your tooth wouldn't have hurt if you went beforehand. <laughs> but uh, in a perfect world, it would all be free. And of course it's not. 
I don't have health care. Um, you know, it would cost uh, Christine and I roughly, when we looked it up last time, it was about $460 a month. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of money, so we don't have health care. Um, paying out of pocket has proven to be cheaper thus far. Now, if I had a bunch of medical problems, it would certainly uh, be cheaper just to get health care. But the doctor's office visit out of pocket was like $100. I think it was $99. And um, getting my prescription is like, I don't know, 8 bucks a month or something. Um, and I mean the glasses, like I said, cost 200 bucks. So I'm still, I'm still under what it would have cost uh, to just have a month or two of actual health care to cover these things. But you know, I, ideally I would. I would love to have health care. I'd love to be able to afford it. Hopefully something changes in the future. You know, post it on the comment section. Do you have health care? A lot of people have it because it's covered under their work. But I don't. You know, neither does Christina. But anyway. Uh, it's just, it's just one of those things. I mean, I want to make this video just to kind of talk about stuff because I share my life with you guys. You know that. Uh, and this is just something that's going on lately. It's it's all been all I can think about and obsess over for the last three weeks. I, besides, you know, I'm still forcing myself to make videos, but the last dozen videos or so, you might not be able to tell, but like, you know, I'm either dizzy in the video or, or just, you know, feeling like crap. It's just, it's been horrible. I put on a good front you know, to, to entertain you guys and, and make some videos and stuff. But behind the scenes, I've been, I've been hurting. But I have to say, after three weeks of a uh, strict, strict diet, a little bit of exercise, uh, my numbers have gone down. You know, I'm seeing much better blood sugar numbers uh, just on that alone without taking any medicine. Um, and the dizziness, you know, since I've uh, had the blood pressure medicine, that's actually helped a little bit. Uh, these glasses are only two days old now. It's very weird looking around. I, I have kind of a distorted look. Uh, my eyes aren't adjusted uh, to the glasses yet. If I take them off, it feels like one eye is going this way and one eye is going that way. But yesterday I had them on all day long. Um, and today I had them since I woke up all day long. So, you know, I'm just trying to listen to the, uh, the eye doctor and, and do what I'm supposed to do. And I have to wear them until my eyes, uh, you know, get adjusted to it. So maybe you guys give me some advice, you know, if you just got glasses recently. I mean, if you were... If you had glasses since you're 10 years old, you're just used to it, you know, but getting glasses at, you know, my mid-30s now, it, it's just weird. It's different. You know, I'm very hyper-focused on the frame. You know, I have perfect peripheral vision, but it's just like it's there, you know, and, it, you know, my ears are a little sore from, from having them on all day. It's just even sunglasses. I haven't worn sunglasses very often. Sometimes I wear sunglasses, you know, if I'm out at an event or something, you know, in the summer when it's hot out and the sun's uh, shining. Or sometimes driving in the car off sunglasses, you know. But I've just never been a big glasses person. And now it's very much part of my life. You know, it's just, it is what it is. So anyway, uh, sometimes it's just a big bag of air. Just keep talking and talking. <laughs> uh, overall, I'm very positive. I, I feel a lot better than I did, like I said, even three weeks ago when I started this. And um, I'm just very much, you know, looking forward to the future and, and just being healthier. You know, once I, I lose the weight start hitting the gym again, you know, working out, building more muscle, dropping more fat. It just feels good. I remember what it was like when I lost over 150 pounds. I felt on top of the world. I, I jumped out of bed in the morning, ready to go. You know, I was, I was more healthy when I was like, I don't even know when I lost the weight now, maybe six, seven years ago. I would say around 30. I was more healthy at 30 than I was all through high school. So that's a, that's a weird feeling. Usually you have a nice, uh, nice body and health in high school, and then it's the opposite. You go south as you get older, but it's almost like the, the opposite for me. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just uh, looking forward to the future and, uh, and just feeling good again. You know, it's been a long time since I just woke up in the morning and jumped out of bed and just felt great every day. It feels like I get hit by a freight train, you know, or, or fell down a mountain. It's just, it's not good, you know. So, you know, I guess better late than ever. I'm not in my 50s or 60s. Doing it in my 30s is, a, is not that bad. Could be worse. Uh, but, you know, really, I just want to get rid of this dizziness. Now, it, it could be the blood pressure is causing dizziness. Could be my eyes. Could be the pre-diabetes. It could be a combination of all three. I really don't know. Maybe it's none of that. But I'm doing everything that I can now to get back on track and, and just be a healthy human being. Uh, so I just want to share with you guys. That's pretty much it. I'll probably make another video once I'm below 300 as far as weight goes, but I don't think that'll take too long, maybe a couple months, maybe less. I don't know. But uh, I'm just sticking with it. Just really, really have to this time. No more excuses. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Again, let me know down in the comments section um, 
do you wear glasses? Have you just gotten glasses? You know, have you had glasses your whole life? I'll tell you real quick, I don't know if I mentioned it in the previous video I did years ago, or about a year and a half when I, I got these glasses the first time, um, but I was prescribed glasses in the fifth grade, and it was barely a prescription. I remember the eye doctor saying, yeah, you should get glasses, but, you know, you don't really need them. And he gave me glasses, and I wore them one day to school, and I think one kid's like, like, oh, those look dumb, or I forget exactly what happened, but whatever happened, I didn't like the way I looked, or was embarrassed, or whatever, and I never wore them again. You know, and then all these years later, get my eyes. I actually got my eyes checked uh, by a pretty good local uh, eye doctor who since moved. But um, I had friends and, and people all around me that love this doctor. And even like, you know, five years ago or so, he said my eyes were fine. But all of a sudden, you know, two years ago, I need glasses. And apparently they gave me the wrong prescription. Um, and now I'm trying it again. So we'll see. I have to wait for my eyes to get fully adjusted. But it's just a weird experience. Just uh, pretty weird. And I'm doing this a lot already. You know, they're not really falling off my face. It just feels like it's falling off my face. So I'm constantly just pushing them back on. It's probably why my ears are sore. But anyway, so that's all. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.